Real quickly before we begin, I want to thank this video's sponsor, CarMarshall.com. CarMarshall.com can save you lots of money on buying used or new vehicles, cars, trucks, school buses. If you want to save money, I'll have a link in the description down below. I know I'm going to... Officer Disturbing allegations against police officers in Patterson, New Jersey. Two officers have been accused of assaulting a patient in a wheelchair inside a hospital. One of those officers has been arrested. That makes him the fourth Patterson officer to be arrested by the FBI since last month. New Jersey reporter Anthony Johnson is live in Patterson with the story. Anthony. Well, Liz, we're still waiting for Officer Roger Thin to make a court appearance here in Newark at the federal courthouse. But this certainly sends a strong message out to police officers in Patterson that their conduct is being watched. Now, we have been told that there were two surveillance cameras that actually caught what happened inside of St. Joseph's Regional Hospital this going back to March. Now, one of the surveillance cameras coming from the hospital, the other one actually being used by one of the police officers involved in that incident. Once again, the victim was in a wheelchair. Apparently, he threw something down the hall that apparently angered the officers, and that's when they apparently assaulted that person in the wheelchair. Now, we have some comments. We looked at the affidavit. We saw some comments mentioned that we understand the officer actually went up and used his right hand to punch the victim in the victim's face. He's also heard, this is Officer Roger Thin, telling that suicidal patient, I ain't expletive playing with you and calm your expletive down. Now, another officer that was involved in the incident is no longer on the police force. This afternoon, we caught up with the director of the Patterson Police Department. He tells us that they've been working with the FBI to weed out corrupt cops on the force. This is an ongoing investigation uh, that was initiated by the Patterson Police Department through our early warning intervention system, which is called I-8 Pro. As a result of that, we have worked in conjunction with the Federal Bureau of Investigation and the Passaic County Prosecutor's Office. Because this is an ongoing investigation, I cannot make any comments with regard to the investigation. Now, apparently, Officer Roger Thin and his partner did not put anything about physical violence in their police report. So that's one of the things that they'll be facing here in federal court as far as the charges that they'll be hearing, or at least Officer Thin will be hearing here this afternoon. Cop arrested for recording himself and fellow cop horrifically beating innocent man in wheelchair. A New Jersey cop was arrested this week for partaking in the horrific beating of a mentally ill man in a wheelchair and filming it for his personal use. By Matt Agarist, May 31, 2018. Patterson, New Jersey The Patterson Police Department in New Jersey is making headlines this week after their fourth officer in only two months has been arrested by federal agents. Officer Roger then, 29, was arrested on Wednesday for participating in the beating of a mentally ill man in a wheelchair and making a video to remember it. The person in the wheelchair was a patient at a hospital. He had committed no crime and had called authorities for help because he felt suicidal. However, once he got to the hospital, help was the last thing he received. Instead, he received a horrific beating at the hands of the two responding officers. Officer then and his partner, known only as police officer one in the complaint, proceeded to beat their wheelchair-bound victim so horrifically that he required surgery to save his eyeball. The incident was captured on hospital surveillance footage as well as then's own cell phone. According to prosecutors, then is accused of making a video of the beating with his phone and hiding it from the report and the department. According to the complaint, on March 5, 2018, then and another Patterson police officer, identified in the complaint as police officer one, responded to a call from an attempted suicide victim. Then and police officer one met the victim at St. Joseph's Medical Center in Patterson. In the hospital surveillance footage, the victim, while in a wheelchair, appears to throw an object down the hall. Afterwards, police officer one pushes the wheelchair and punches the victim in the face. As the victim falls, then grabs him by the back of the neck and pushes him to the ground. In the second video, 
which was allegedly taken by then using his cell phone, the victim is on his back in a hospital bed. After the victim verbally insults police officer 1, police officer 1 puts on a pair of hospital gloves and violently strikes the victim twice across the face. Police officer 1 then stands over the victim and says, I ain't fucking playing with you. Then and police officer 1 filed a police report in connection with the events of March 5, 2018. The police report did not mention that police officer 1 punched the victim or that then grabbed the victim by the neck and pushed him towards the ground, as captured in the first video. The police report also did not mention that police officer 1 violently struck the victim in a hospital room, as depicted in the second video. As a result of these assaults, the victim suffered multiple injuries to his face, including the eye injury that required surgery. After then's arrest, the department issued a statement noting that most of their cops are good and that this officer's behavior was an isolated incident. However, the four arrests in two months indicate otherwise. This is part of the Patterson Police Department's ongoing investigation being conducted in partnership with the Passaic County Prosecutor's Office and the FBI, said Patterson Police Director Jerry Spziale. The Patterson Police Department will never accept this kind of behavior, but I want to make it clear that these allegations are not an indication of the other 418 men and women in the Patterson Police Department who act under the color of the law every day. As for the other officers who were arrested, they face charges of everything from extortion and conspiracy to illegal traffic stops and drug running. As TFTP reported last month, one of those officers was Reuben McOsland, 26, who reportedly sold $12,000 in drugs to an undercover buyer who was working with the FBI, U.S. Attorney Craig Carpenito said in a statement. McOsland is accused of selling at least 35 grams of marijuana, 48 grams of heroin, 31 grams of cocaine and 31 grams of crack between October 2017 and April 2018. Although the Patterson police chief would like us to think otherwise, it appears that they have more than just a couple of bad apples. Also, the arrests will likely go up to five once the cop, identified as police officer one, is arrested for his role in torturing a mentally ill man in a wheelchair. Hey, Sheriff County, this is Sheriff County Cop Watch, and I just wanted you to know that uh, I am using this stuff under fair use. And uh, also, uh, remember to like and subscribe this channel. Uh, also, too, uh, keep in mind, I do not make any money on YouTube. Uh, this is uh, five hours work a day, uh, you know, fighting for freedom. And uh, I do, I, you can donate with PayPal and Patreon. Uh, I just want you to think about this. If everybody gives uh, to PayPal and Patreon, Patreon is every month. Actually, PayPal you can do every month. I have 12,000 subscribers. If everybody gives, I can uh, quit my regular job and go full-time investigations on Charlotte County and possibly even more and beyond. So just keep that in mind. If everybody helps out, I can go full-time doing this. Thanks.